Hey guys, this is Tolhe, and welcome to Let's Play Minecraft Part 60. So, uh, in the la uh, like, in between the last video and this video, I dug out the part of the tower in there a little more, um, off camera, because it was just a lot of digging. And then afterwards, I realized that this creeper was just sitting there the whole time watching me as I was, like, just moving around down there and stuff, and then I sort of looked up and just saw him. So I don't know what's with creepers lately, but certainly, like, watching me. It's kind of creepy. Um, I'm going to leave him alone though. He's not really hurting me, so whatever. Um, so in this video, uh, we're going to get to work on this tower. Still up there hanging out. Um, so the first thing is I need to make sure to remember this is going to be um, this high. Because I need to put cobblestone, a cobblestone floor down for this whole thing. Um, but. Cow. I will destroy you with this feather. I am so powerful that I will destroy you with the feather. Oh man. Holy flying cows. Flying cows. Ugh. Tongue tied. Okay. So this whole area needs to have a floor like this. Um, and then after we get this floor done. What I'm thinking is I'll have a, an inner stair well, and then like the tower have like a an outer section as well. I it's hard to explain what I'm thinking, but you'll see. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna cut here as I finish filling in this floor, and we're back. So uh, I got this floor laid down. Took about two and a half stacks of cubes. Uh. There. At least that's one cow. I think I still hear another one mooing somewhere, but should reduce the mooing a bit. Um, so looking at this, though, I realize that now that this floor is going to be one higher because of the cobblestone, I should actually do this high. So this would be the appropriate height for coming in here. So then what I'm thinking here is that I can have this centerpiece and then... I'm debating whether or not I'm going to want a wall around the outside of it, but basically something along the lines of this. Um, and then... Oh, I don't have any half stone with me. One second, guys. I need to go get some half stone. Creeper. Still up there, I see. Um, I'll leave this on camera. It's only going to take a few seconds. Um, so yeah, so gonna get this half stone. Um, 64 should be enough, I suppose. Okay, well, yeah, it should be enough. And then there, and then drop the mushroom. Okay, and then I'm not sure when I'm gonna go back to the nether. Right now I'm sort of happy with getting this uh, castle project, getting getting it going a little more um, do let's see move that down there get rid of the piece of ham okay so I'm not sure when I'm gonna go back to the nether at the time being but we'll definitely head back there at some point and finish what we had started huh What am I doing wrong with my stairs? Oh, okay. Yeah, I missed a lock here. So that means that that next section should actually be there. Like that. I'm like, I, I've done this so many times. Why is this not working? I was all confused for a second there. And so here's the tricky bit. Not taking damage. That'll um, but actually figuring out where to make another floor. Because I'm going to want this floor uh, of the tower. Because I'm going to want this tower to have different floor levels. Oh, creeper's gone. Now the question is whether he's still up there. Or what exactly he is doing. 
Um, so we're gonna have to come out this way and extend the floor. Yeah, he just disappeared on me. Actually, I have another idea. Uh, this is gonna be tricky though. Well, it shouldn't be, but we'll... We'll see. Um, I'm thinking... How far down does this need to go to be on level? So, um, one, two, three, four. Oh, I can't remember now, but I think that's, no, it should be one lower than that, I think. Yeah, that seems right. So that would be one, two, three, four in between. One, two, three, four in between. And then what I'm thinking is maybe instead of having this one be separated the same way, I could make this section into a much larger room. And I could always divide it later if I wanted to, but instead, uh, like on the other side, I go four, four, four all the way up, but instead I could have um, a, a section of a room of four, room of eight, and then a r the top room of four on this side of the the arch. Just to try and change things up again. Oh shoot, I'm getting lag spikes a little bit here and it's causing weird stuff. And I had someone say, what am I going to do with all of these rooms? Because I'm going to have a lot of rooms once I get all of these castle rooms done. Uh, and all of the ones that once I dig into the side of the mountain. I don't know if some of the rooms might just be empty or because there's not much point but I, it's more of a, the idea of having like a castle that is fully um, like that you would have some rooms that would have purposes like I'd say oh well this is my dining hall room but you know obviously I can't put tables and chairs. Um, Now, of course, I can't remember how this is supposed to go. And we're back. Okay, so I think this is supposed to go here is where I removed it. Anyways, but so this would be a floor. Now, hopefully this lines up okay with, with the staircase I just built. And I would have another, um, I would have another floor above this one as well. And then I'm thinking the tower would actually go higher than this wall. Because um, the tower shouldn't be just as tall as the, the, the outer wall. It should be slightly taller. So it's, you know, a tower. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cut as I uh, fill in this floor. One second, guys. And we're back, guys. And this silly zombie thinks he can escape the sunlight. He's wrong. I just want to get past him now. Oh. Uh -huh. I'm going to need to put up some more torches in here. I don't have any sticks and coal, do I? Oh, I do have some wood, which I can turn into sticks. And then make some coal, use some coal, put the sticks to make some more torches. There we go. Definitely don't want to be in this dark in here. Okay. And then for this floor, um, let's just remove one block for a second. And then we need to start building up this tower higher. And 
Well, let's just worry about the one side and then we'll worry about the inner side after. So just raising up this wall. Um, so yeah, this tower is the next priority. I, I'm not, I'm, I think the, okay, good. I thought I might've been able to cobblestone for a second there. Um, I think my, my, the least priority on my list right now is building the inner part of the mountain. Like digging out the part of the, the mountain just is boring. It takes a really long time. So I'm sort of leaving that part for last. Another interesting thing I've thought about doing, but I don't, I don't think I'll go through with it. But I did want to mention it as an interesting idea, um, is what would be really cool is if you took um, every wall and if I double layered it, so I had like, so say I had a wall here, right? And it was just like this here, leaving one square in between the the inner part of a wall and the outer part, and then put lava blocks or lava source blocks at the top of each section, and then cover it off. That way, if anyone ever tried to dig through my walls, they would have to get around the lava. Which I mean, I've thought about it, and it's not impossible. You could put a block, um, dig it out a bit, and then put a block above, and it'll keep the lava from flowing down and then you could make a gap and sort of get through but at the time it would take them to do that would be longer than if they could just dig through your wall and break through and then if it was multiplayer survival then that time might be enough for say someone you had on guard duty to get down and you know encounter them and start to fight them it basically if you had lava in between your walls of your castle then it would be harder for people to actually get in so, I don't think I'll do that on this castle, but if I was playing on a multiplayer survival, like, PvP server, that would be a tactic I think I would use. But it's hard to keep people out because... Well, for the simple reason that you can just dig under and... There's no, well, unless you put like lava, a layer of lava or two layers of lava under your entire castle, that might help stop people too. But in, you know, people are going to find a way in, but lava just seems like the most uh, useful tactic to stop people from digging through your stuff. There's a lot of animals down there. It sort of makes me wish that I could leave this open and then just have like like this not filled with rooms but I don't know I I want to have that filled with rooms just because the way it is I I don't know we'll I guess we'll see how it goes but I, I have a feeling that I'm gonna want that whole area to be filled in um, and not open and grass but I don't know in the same respect though I I think I'm sort of thinking about Zelda's castle when I'm doing this not in any particular way just Oh, I'm out of cobblestone. Um, ah, how am I gonna get down? Oh, I didn't really think that through now, did I? Well, let's just dig down and then we'll replace this after when I come to finish this up. Ow. Um, but yeah, like even in Zelda's castle, uh, there was a big open courtyard like this, but I don't know, I'm just, um, I think this would be cool if this was all of rooms as well. We'll see how it turns out though. It's just interesting to see like all of these animals just roaming around in between the walls. But that's the purpose of the inner courtyard in my opinion, so. If I can, I'm gonna clean out all these trees at some point too. And uh, also get rid of this snow. Oh, and you may have noticed I got rid of all the snow out there. Um, and that was just, I was going around doing stuff like this out there and that gets rid of the snow and because this area is no longer considered snowy area it doesn't snow so once I remove the snow in this area it's never coming back so I also got to be careful about that so I could go out there and technically remove all of that and this would all be green so okay so yeah this is probably more than 15 minutes now but I should be able to cut it down a bit um, hopefully anyways this is Tolhi signing out later guys